good morning from Cabo Pomo, where at 4 a.m. we were rudely awakened by our neighbors. Do it again. I dare ya. Woke up this morning, it was still kind of calm. I got a chance to go paddle, Lindsay didn't. And um, so there's this beach that we can hike to. It is really, really windy right now, um, but we're gonna go hike because we're here and we wanna go explore a little bit. So we're gonna switch over to the GoPro and go out for a little hike. It was a fun little hike, really, really windy, but beautiful. And we're looking forward to coming back here this summer, even though the road is crazy to get down here to this place. We're definitely gonna come back here and camp for a couple days. God willing, we can't predict the future.
It's okay here. Everything's fine on the other side. Okay. Wow. Oh man, that was scary. We had a noise. The camper almost looked like it was going to go flying off the bed of the truck. And we were terrified we lost a weld on our tie down points. Oh man, that was scary. Everything's fine. There's so many points where it's tied in. Yeah. That if one came off, it can't, it can't cause the whole thing. You know, like if, if this snapped for yeah. one reason, it's still got all that other. I was thinking the tie down popped That's off. That's what I thought so too. It's, yeah, it's this thing. Yeah. This one has a bolt through it. So what I'm thinking I'm going to try to do is just hook in the ratchet right here to the frame. Okay. Bring it up and over here. Or not even that. Just the ratchet. This to here. Yeah. Just to try to reduce that side to side rocking. I mean again, if, if the front... If this one is good, which it looks like it is. This right here is not good. Where? It's a piece of the tube metal. Yep. Right here that you were worried about. Yep. So that's an issue. It's not the issue, but this isn't boating so well right now. The good news is we know a really good welder in La Paz. Somebody who works on Baja race trucks. Well, that was a little bit of a scare, huh? Yeah, I mean, at least we know there's nothing terribly wrong with the truck. So. With, with the welding part of it? Yeah. So we came into town, into Los Barrios, and we said, let's stop at this welding shop. Lindsay found it on iOverlander, and we wanted to at least have somebody look at it. It's Friday afternoon. We didn't expect him necessarily to be able to work. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't speak any English, so I had to putz my way through Spanish. <laughs> Got him to come and look at the camper on the side of the road where we had parked. And he had, I guess, some a friend who speaks English was able to communicate with us. Anyway, long story short, we brought the camper back to the shop and we had him look at it. And, and I, I, I feel like I recognized him. Like he looked really familiar and I'm like, the name Pedro, Pedro. Like it just seems so familiar and cute little old man and uh, looked familiar and it made me think I remembered watching a video on YouTube before we left for Baja before we left for Baja planning for Baja and all that it was Eamon and Beck they're in their van they wanted a roof rack an aluminum roof rack on their van to hold surfboards and paddle boards and stuff and they went to a welder and his name was Pedro and I was just like Pretty sure this is where they came. <laughs> We've been looking for Pedro ever since we saw yeah, that video because we thought we, we kind of want to. I mean, we've been thinking about putting a roof rack on. So, what are the odds that there's a Pedro welder in Los Perias? All of Baja. I mean, we haven't been knocking on every welder's no, door, we haven't. but we knew Pedro was somewhere in Baja, and we have needed welding. We did go to a welder in La Paz. Anyway, we. Um, we asked him, do you remember this van, this white van that came in to have a roof rack put on? YouTube couple, and they started smiling and they knew right away. They are like, yeah. Yep. <laughs> so we're going to give a plug, even though we don't have a million subscribers and a million views on this video, but Pedro and Los Perias is your guy to go to for welding. 
it's even worth making the thousand mile drive from the top of the border to come here. He's he does aluminum and steel, super, whatever you need. Super nice guy. We offered to pay at the end of, I mean, it's been about a half an hour, yeah, 45 minutes. just for his minutes. time to look at the truck. We're like, we'll pay you. And he said no. No. He wouldn't take any money. Wouldn't take it at all. So, yeah. um, good place, good guy. But for now, it's really cool, that connection, because we were looking for Pedro. We should yeah. have made signs. Have you seen Pedro? Yeah. <laughs> We found Pedro. T-shirts. Have you seen Pedro? We're looking for Pedro. <laughs> we found him. Uh, so if you're looking for Pedro, now you know where to find him. Mm -hmm. He is in Los Perias on the way out to the free campsite outside of Playa Norte, which is where we're headed next to go reconnect with our friends. And he's kind of hidden off the road, so you have to look. One but, but he's on my overlander night. now, so. One more night. One more huh? night. Give me one more road. And I can't live for. I don't know. I don't know the words to that okay. song. But you know what I'm trying to sing. YouTube knows because they're gonna slap my wrist again. <laughs> Every time I sing, I get a notification from YouTube. But I still am gonna sing. Let's get out of here and go do one more night Let's in Los Perias. I have to pee. Okay. It's TMI. Do it again. I dare you. <laughs>